you welcome to another section of the ATU Library Tutorial Series. And in this tutorial, we are going to cover how you can number your pages, which will have a combination of Roman numerals and also numbers. And in our previous tutorial, we were able to generate automatically list of tables. We also generated list of figures automatically. We also did something on how to generate table of content automatically, not doing it manually and putting the numbers over there. But however, if these can be done effectively and efficiently, you also need page numbers. And so we are saying that um, the cover page of your project work should be without any number, followed by your abstract, dedication, acknowledgement. Those initial pages should have Roman numerals and the pages that comes after the initial pages, after the abstracts, or after the last, let's say the list of tables or figures, should have numbers on these pages. Now the question is how do you combine Roman numerals and that of numbers on a particular document? And so this tutorial is going to cover page numbering, whereby we have Roman numerals and that of numbers on a single document. And so we use, we have our word file over here, and you realize that this is the cover page, and these are the initial pages after the cover pages, after the cover page, and we also have a page starting with, that is the chapter pages. So we have chapter one and so forth. So we are saying that um, the pages that comes before the chapter should bear Roman numerals, and that, that comes after, that is the chapter pages should have numbers on these pages. So how do you go by such numbering? And so to begin with, what you have to, or the two things that we'll be using over here is the show slash hide button. And we also, we also use the, the next page where, whereby we'll be introducing a section break. So first of all, let's go back to our home tab. Then let's click on the show hide button. Now one may ask uh, what actually is a show hide button. Uh, the show hide button actually turns hidden characters like spaces, paragraph, and so forth. The show hide button turns these hidden characters on and off. So we will first of all introduce the show hide button to see all hidden characters. Now, after introducing the show hide button, there is something that we call section bricks. And when you talk about section bricks, what actually is a section brick. So in the word processor, that is a Microsoft Word that we are using, a section brick splits your document pages into sections with customizable format or layout. So what we are trying to say is the section brick will put some pages or your pages into sections whereby you can format it according to sections. So we have to introduce the section break so that we know that from this side, let's say from declaration to that of declaration up to list of figures will have Roman numerals. So we put the declaration to list of figures under a particular section. Then we also put from chapter one to that of our appendix, we also have another section then our cover page will also have another section. So once we group these pages into sections, we are able to customize it. We are able to apply a particular format or layout to these sections. So we go to our page layout. We go to our page layout and we introduce what we call sections. But before we introduce what we call sections, First of all, 
let's insert our page numbers. So we are inserting our page numbers. So we have the page numbers starting from one to our last page that is 56. And so let's introduce the section so that we can format some portion of, of our page numbers to start with Roman numerals. So we go to page layout. Now you come to the last, you can introduce your page section over here. And so we are introducing, we are introducing next page. We are introducing the next page. And it's saying that instead of section break and start a new section on the next page. So as we said earlier on the section break, just put your pages into sections in order for you to give it a very customizable format. So we introduce this and we have the section break over there. Now we also, so we have the declaration up to our list of figures. So we also have to introduce section at our last part, that is the list of figures. So we have list of figures, we introduce section. So we also introduce next page over here. Then our chapter one, we also come down here where the show hide button is. Under the bricks, we click on next page that is introducing our section brick. So what we have over here, we have introduced three section bricks. So the first one, we did it on the cover page. Then the other one, we did it at the end of the initial pages, as you are seeing over here. That is the list of figures. We introduced our section brick. And the last one was at the end of chapter one. And so this is what we have. And looking at it, you realize that we don't have any Roman numerals over here. They are all numbers. So because it has been grouped into sections, you can now decide that this page to this page should start with Roman numerals and this side to this side should start with numbers. And so on your document, double click at a footer where you are seeing. So this is the footer you double click for it to be highlighted. Now you realize that we have link to previous. So it is telling you that this particular page is telling you that this particular page where I have my Kesa on is being linked to this cover page. So it has been linked to the previous page, as you are seeing. Now we are saying that we don't want this to be linked to our previous page or our cover page. So we break it, we disable it. Now it has been disabled. And so we also come to our chapter one. And when we click on chapter one page, we realize that the chapter one page has also been linked to our previous page. We don't want it that way. So we break the link. And now we are saying that once the links in the document have now be separated or disabled based on some sections, we can introduce the format that we want for these pages. So we are saying that we highlight our number over here. We are saying we want to format it to start with Roman numerals. So we go to still under the design tab, page number, you go to format page numbers, you change the number format we have over here to Roman numerals. And we are saying that it should start at I. So we go down, we have I, 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 I. 
Let's check. You have I X X X I X I I. So you realize that this number that we have here, number one, was not affected because we disabled the link. All right. So we check. We have one over here. That is this side is linked, so we can change this one. We highlight this one. It should be two, but however, it's showing one. So we can come to our page number, format page numbers, then continue from previous section. And the previous one is bearing a number. That is one, two, three, and so forth. So the number on the previous page is one. And so we are saying that it should continue from the previous section. So this side must be two. So we have two. We have three, four, all the way to 43. Now we are also saying that what we have over here, our cover page should not bear any number. So we highlight it, page number, remove page numbers. You realize that the numbers on the other pages were not affected. The Roman numerals also are not affected, but rather it's only the cover page. We can then close our header and footer and disable our show and hide button. So you realize that we have our numbering captured here correctly, that is I, 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 where we have the chapter one is also starting from one and our cover page has no number. So that is it for page numbering, a combination of Roman numerals and that of numbers. Thank you once again for watching this tutorial from ATU Library Tutorial Series. Always remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.